Regenerative Medicine, Mayo Clinic takes a comprehensive approach that involves rejuvenation, replacement, and regeneration. With state-of-the-art technology, teams of Mayo Clinic doctors and researchers are designing, developing, and deploying the next generation of medical solutions. Tissues in your heart, joints, and other areas can break down with age or disease, but doctors are finding ways to give your body's natural healing abilities a boost. While the potential seems limitless, advances are already helping patients through the specialties of orthopedic and plastic regenerative surgery, sports medicine, diabetes care, wound healing, cardiology, neurology, and the broader field of organ transplantation. Indeed, regenerative medicine is a new core discipline of modern healthcare. There is a lot of expectations both from specialists, physicians, but also from the society at large into what regenerative medicine can afford in terms of new, new therapies and new ways to manage diseases. One extremely promising approach involves stem cells. Dr. Tim Nelson is even researching ways to manipulate ordinary cells from the patient's own body to behave like stem cells, which can then be engineered to become virtually any type of tissue. These are heart muscle cells. This is one cell that's contracting, is working with many cells, and that gives the whole tissue the contraction pattern like a normal heart. Millions of Americans have survived heart attacks only to go on to develop heart failure. That's what happens when damaged heart muscle becomes progressively weaker. Heart transplant may be an option for a lucky few, but donor hearts are in short supply. As Mayo Clinic researchers have proven, the potential exists for doctors to help many of these hearts repair themselves. What was once science fiction truly is becoming reality, with a better understanding of how to use the power of stem cells. Miroslav Dlacic is living proof. The former Serbian fighter pilot had enjoyed great vitality before heart failure left him too exhausted to work, garden, or even take a stroll. Then he volunteered for a recent clinical trial utilizing Mayo Clinic innovation. He told a Serbian television audience that within months he was, quote, feeling quite well, more active and more peppy than before. How? Dr. Andre Terzik is director of the Mayo Clinic Center for Regenerative Medicine. And we are essentially now teaching a stem cell that can go in different directions to specifically acquire this propensity to become a heart-like cells. Dr. Terzik's team started in the lab identifying hundreds of protein molecules called cytokines, which tell stem cells what type of tissue to become. They then took their discovery to a biotechnology company in Belgium to refine the list of those proteins most directly involved in growing heart muscle. Stem cells harvested from the patient's own hip and treated with these proteins are now being guided to develop into heart-like cells. Dr. Terzik calls them cardiopoetic cells, all the patients who had these cells injected into their disease hearts showed improvement. They responded favorably both in terms of their cardiac function and structure and as well in terms of their overall fitness. Stem cells can also be filtered from a patient's own body fat and grown by the millions, even billions, in the lab. Remember, they're the starting point for all the tissues in your body, so the potential for regenerating tissues damaged by disease is incredibly exciting. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a devastating condition that destroys nerves in the spinal cord, eventually leading to paralysis so extensive that even breathing becomes impossible. But doctors are now testing ways to select stem cells that have special growth factors. When injected into spinal fluid, they may offer a protective effect capable of slowing, perhaps halting, or even reversing the nerve degeneration of ALS. Kidney disease is another unmet medical need, affecting tens of millions of Americans. Well, what if the damage to cells inside of kidneys could be reversed? Promising research shows infusions of stem cells may hold the key to regenerating healthy tissues and restoring kidney function. Why not use them to heal bone? Mayo Clinic orthopedic surgeon Dr. Rafael Sierra is glad he can help this patient walk again by replacing her badly damaged hip joint, but he'd rather help patients avoid such surgery entirely. She's only 19 years old. Harsh rounds of chemotherapy helped her beat cancer, but caused a condition called osteonecrosis. Essentially the death of the bone. It can happen in knee, ankle, or shoulder joints, but most commonly occurs in the hip at the top of the femur or thigh bone. 80 to 95% of patients eventually need artificial joint replacement. 
However, injections of stem cells have healed the hips of some of Dr. Sierra's patients with a minimally invasive 45-minute outpatient procedure that poses very little risk. First, two small cuts are made at the top of the hip bones. We harvest the bone marrow from the iliac crest from the patients, and it's currently put into a centrifuge where we spin down the uh, cells. The stem cells are then mixed with platelet-rich plasma from the patient's own blood. Next, the doctor does a hip decompression, the standard procedure of opening the disease bone at the top of the femur to release pressure and allow new bone to grow. Now it allows us through a special instrumentation system that we've actually designed here is to inject these cells into the area of the necrosis. Dr. Sierra says for most of his patients, stem cell therapy means their hip replacement can wait, hopefully indefinitely. In 80% of the patients, we have been able to halt uh, the progression at least at between two and five years. Dr. Terzik says this is yet another tantalizing example of how helping the body heal itself can lead to actual cures for conditions because traditionally medicine has only been able to treat the symptoms of disease. Increasingly with the advances in technology we'll be able to go after the root cause of the problem. While the potential of stem cells is amazing, regenerative medicine involves many additional approaches. Advanced surgical techniques, for example. When the bones in this infant skull began hardening too early, it couldn't grow normally. So Dr. Samir Mardini turned to a high-tech solution. Computers showed him how the baby's head should be shaped and gave Dr. Mardini a blueprint to get there. Technology even created a three-dimensional mold so skilled hands could perfectly rearrange the skull's bones for healthy regrowth. Futures restored, lives preserved, health rejuvenated. That's the promise of regenerative medicine at Mayo Clinic.